minus, minus, minus. <laughs> so that's how you end up. This is my theory. I'm dying at the age that you do. That's my theory. <laughs> channel happy new year thank you for coming by today i appreciate you in today's video the long-awaited video that everybody's been waiting for is like what am i going for the year every episode i got dumb goals if i don't have goals like the person that i am i won't do nothing zero nada blah you'll find me relaxing the entire year if i don't set goals for myself so some people need structure and that is me <laughs> I'm not really ready for this yet. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I have written down the goals for the year. Here we go. Here we go. So let's get right into it because we can't waste no time. This year has already started. We are three weeks in. Like while I'm making this video, we are three weeks in. But what I did learn from last year is that I got to set shorter goals. You know, I can't make my goals grandiose right there's no way it feels overwhelming and also they're just not as easy to accomplish you know one of the things i learned from running marathons is that you got to focus on what's ahead not the 26 miles you know a shorter goal that's not the full 26 because that seems overwhelming but you can't make it to the next stoplight so i'm taking that into account as i create my goals for this year <laughs> For me, the hobbies things is about meeting like-minded people, you know, exploring different, maybe things that I've never tried, like soap making or ceramics, or just starting back up to drawing and like really make it a thing. Maybe taking a class or two this year, doing things makes me happy. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing on this year. <laughs> Committing to you, last year it was tough, but the fact that I did the 25 days in December, that just made, gave me like a little bit more confidence into the fact that I can do this. Like that was really, really hard. Imagine, I don't have to do that constantly. I don't have to do 25 days in a row. What I have in real life, like normal situation, is easier than December. So if I could do December, then I can definitely post more during the year. Uh, instead of just making the videos that I'm making, increasing the quality of the videos that I am making. So if I don't have a video every week, maybe every two bi-weekly, I'm not sure yet, so don't, mm. but I'm definitely going to have more videos than last year, definitely for sure. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when I post a video. My computer is old, it lags a lot, and is really hard to work with. I get really frustrated making videos or editing videos. Making sure I have a new computer is one of my top priorities. Or buying software that makes it easier. It doesn't have glitches. <laughs> editing is not really that hard at this point. It's just doing it with my computer. It just makes it very, very hard. I'm gonna be in this apartment for the next two years. In two years, we'll see where we go, but I definitely want to make sure it feels like home. Two years is a long time, you know? Uh, maybe it'll make me stay, I don't know. <laughs> So one of the things I talked about last year is um, journaling because it's really helpful for me to write in terms for my mental health. I want to start actually writing and honing in my writing skills. I used to have a blog, which I haven't kept up with. I think I did one blog post in 2020 and that's it, but I really want to pick that up again. Because I'm focusing so much on YouTube, uh, I'll maybe post once in a while, or maybe I'll just do the journaling because that's just easier to do every day. The fact that you're actually writing 
makes you remember more. Uh, and mental health is one of the things I talked about last year and that I really wanted to focus on this year. I still do. The past few months have been really tough because I've had a lot of panic attack. I just realized recently that the panic has to do with more with my health issues. Anything that I feel becomes this big. I had my last, my first session last week. It just happened that I found this person. She told me about mental health coaching instead of therapy and how you actually set goals. And I thought that was really good because I'm used to setting goals. As you can see, I need that structure. Um, I have that structure at the gym already. I have that structure for running. Um, so I feel like it would be better for me as a person to do something like mental health coaching instead of therapy. We'll see how, if it works out or not, but I'm giving it a try. I'm talking about, you know, taking a vacation, taking vacations with my son and making sure I have quality time with him. I won't talk too much about it because I don't want to talk about it here on YouTube, but. <laughs> Freelance work. This past December, in addition to making all those YouTube videos, I took on a freelance project, which I hadn't done in a long time. It was really satisfying, let me tell you. It really helped me explore a side of my creativity that I don't usually, because I work a nine to five. Sometimes we have restraints. It doesn't let me be as free as, we, as I would want to be creatively. That's why freelancing is a good way to do that. This freelance work that I did recently gave me the opportunity to do more with a topic I'm passionate about, which is girls giving back to them felt really good. Uh, I got paid though, I got paid, let me tell you. It really helps me with my nine to five to be creative outside of there. It helps me bring those aspects of creativity that I'm learning from doing other things into my nine to five work. I do recommend it. If you don't do it, do it. <laughs> I know I time consuming and everything. I have a child, I have this YouTube thing, I run, I exercise. If I can do it, so can you. <laughs> I mentioned mental health, but also I want to be able to focus on my health, like I said. I've already scheduled two, two appointments with two different doctors, so I'm going to have them later on this month. I have this point of view about health and wellness and living a long life, okay? So the majority of problems in health are caused by inflammation, right? So I feel like anything that inflames our body makes us live a little less. Like for example, you have a new pimple, something you can't help, but you have a new pimple, that's inflammation. You get less, a day less, or I don't know, hours less of life, right? You get a stomach ache that inflames your gut. You get, I don't know, depending on the severity, you get one day less, right, of life. You get, anytime you get sick, depending on the level of sickness and the, you know, inflammation, you get minus, minus, minus. So, so that's how you end up, this is my theory, that's how you end up at dying at the age that you do. That's my theory. I don't, you don't have to agree. You don't have, we, we can disagree. We, and, and I'm sure in the comments, if anyone watches this, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for your opinions. Anyway, that's how I feel. And for me, health is like about keeping inflammation down, right? Some of the things that we do are naturally gives us inflammation, like for example, running or working out. But at the same time, it has positive effects. So for me, those things kind of eliminate, like cancel out the inflammation. In terms of foods too, there are infl inflammatory foods. You, we all have them. Think eating more of the good cancels out the bad. That's, that's what I think. That's what I think. 
is not based on any logical explanation from any doctor. It's what I think based on living life. The book thing is like a subject that is... <laughs> Yo, the, the book thing is like... Oh no, she's real ignorant because she didn't read no books this year or she read only one book. Come on, guys. Come on. It's not like I haven't read books in my life. In terms of the books, I haven't decided yet about reading how much I'm going to read. Um, but this year, I hope to focus not on reading like, oh, let's read 20, 50 books because that doesn't work for me. As I mentioned earlier in this, in this video, I wanna make my goals very short, like things that I can accomplish in a shorter amount of time. So I'm gonna focus on number of pages that I read instead of, let's read 50 books, you know, because as I told you, I don't have a lot of time. I do a lot and I don't have a lot of time. So, and my vision, my vision is terrible. It's becoming an issue and I need to see a doctor. <laughs> Again, another thing I needed to see the doctor for. I'm gonna focus on that and then I'll decide later, maybe I'll put it in another blog. I'll decide later how many pages. Once I, once I get these things to work <laughs> correctly, they're not gonna be 100%. I'm not gonna have 20-20 vision. But, you know, 2020 vision with glasses at least. <laughs> My glasses are just not working right now. That's just what it is. And then that's it. I think this year I made less goals than last year, but I really want to make sure that I focus and that every goal that I have, that I really, really work on it, on those goals. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.